is going on? Sam, we're going to Check in with you guys. Guys, do well doing terrific. Uh, we are back with another video. So this one is going to be a doozy. I feel like I said that at the beginning of every every video that I'm doing on this marathon prep because everything from here on out is going to be a doozy. So today we got an 18 mile run. Um, that is going to be my longest mile. It's funny when my watch then prompts me after a run and it's like, oh, this is a new record. I'm like, no shit, it's a new record. This is the fastest I ever ran. <laughs> so. Uh, we are here in beautiful Forest Park. Uh, awesome, awesome weather. It's like 74 degrees right now. Uh, it's supposed to rain like in the last few hours, but it didn't. So, no rain inside. That breeze right now feels amazing. And what we have right now is going to be the Huma Gel. Uh, I will be having this uh, every 30 minutes or so on the run. Also, have salt sticks on here. And normally, on the previous video, I mentioned I used the Apex bag, but I'm not going to be using that today. I'm going to be using. Uh, just a, this a 14 ounce uh, water bottle here right there uh, this is my first time trying this so I think this is just gonna be better than just hauling a big if um, it back on me on myself so this I'm gonna put some electrolytes BPN first link in the descri description description uh, it's not even a shameless plug you guys know what the, what the, you know what the deal is um, so that's what I have and max right here is gonna be kind of just shadowing me around that just I mean whatever I can find him it's gonna have a nice little uh, electrolytes in here too for me so yeah um there's nothing to it but to do it um nervous as i should and uh i am looking forward to this journey and at the end of this video we are going to be talking about why does uh, a world champ natural bodybuilder guys it wants to run 18 miles 19 miles 26.2 miles so yeah why am i running i feel like i never really covered that topic uh, for you guys so we'll be talking about that depending on how i feel after this long 18 mile run you see other people running like around here just straight up just like oh you know a couple of swings and just like fucking go and run I'm like must be nice the body's old <laughs> i do you to say that <laughs> you gotta let people know man <laughs> this don't let this fool you man we old Q and A uh, yesterday on Instagram, and one of the questions that I got was, "Hey, what kind of music do you listen to when I run?" I think I mentioned this on this channel uh, a few times. I used to listen to music while I run, not anymore. What I do now is I listen to an audiobook, and the audiobook that I'm listening to right now is Hard Things. Um, again, it's it's one of those things. I mean, I'm doing the hard thing. <laughs> if you are, you don't have to run a marathon, but I mean, it's an excellent, excellent book. So. Give it a try that's what i'll be rocking to i got about four hours and ten minutes all left so that should be good enough <laughs> so i might finish this book on this front who knows i'm stalling by the way <laughs> i'm stalling hard <laughs> <laughs> i'm just being transparent and honest with you guys i'm stalling but we're gonna do it once you start you just keep on moving on So I'm stopping real quick. Feel good. Five point seven miles in. I'm gonna have this. Again, what I'm trying to do better is to catch myself before it gets too late. So I already had one Huma. Huma. Every 30 minutes, I'm due for one 10 minutes. Salt, just to, I'm sweating a lot. It's actually a nice weather too, but still sweating. So I'm gonna catch myself before I get to the point where it's too late and I'm already cramping. So, the only thing I'm ditching is I'm ditching the audiobook. I just wanna bask in the fuckery a little bit. Me and my thoughts. <laughs> so yeah, 5.6, feeling good. And one thing also I learned with running is because you're feeling good at 5.6, don't 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 get confident. Don't overdo it. Don't look because I feel confident. Oh, I'm just gonna step it up. No, no, no. I keep looking at my watch. My watch is on. My pace is going faster, so I'm forcing myself to slow down. That's what's called discipline, and it correlates to training too in the gym because uh, because you have it doesn't mean you should. <laughs> because you can doesn't mean you should. 
So because I can, doesn't mean I should. I'm gonna control myself. I'm just trying to give myself a 9.30 pace. I'm at 9.19 right now. To me, that's a little too fast for me, so I'm gonna slow it down some more. Anyways, back in the fuckery. That's good. Have more to go. Keep it up. If y'all didn't hear him, Sam just said he is 11 miles in. Got seven left to go. Just at 18 mark. So he looks like he's in really good shape. And I mean, at like seven or eight miles in, he was saying he was feeling really good. So looks good, man. Almost there, bro. Gonna send this last two. Feeling fucking amazing. Let's go. Let's kill it. Ask me in the words of David Goggins. You don't know me, son. Last mile, 550. No, it's not 550. Who's gonna carry the boat? Who's gonna carry the boat? <laughs> 845. Half a mile to go, 18 mile. Feeling good. Feeling mean. Oh, let's go. You don't know me, son. Shout out to the hardest man alive. Let's go, son. Let's go. Let's go. God fucking damn. This is what Runner's High feels like. 18 fucking miles. Last week I did 16.5. Your boy was hurt 10 at mile 10. Six more miles to go. My head's fucking locked up. Man, running is a bitch, man. This is why I love running. This is why I run. Last, last week, Hurting like a motherfucker. This week, I got more miles than last week. And your mind starts to like talk shit to you, man. Your mind will fucking give up on you before your body does. Your mind's like, yeah, bro, you feeling good, man. Slow down, which is great. Listen, slow down. And I keep looking at my watch, I'm like, I feel good. Should I take it? At like mile six, I'm like, man, I got 18 to go, so let me pace myself. Once I passed that threshold of where I was hurting last week and I feel good, I did a PMCS and I'm like, okay, it feel good, like feel good. I'm gonna take it, bask in the fuckery. Bask in this fucking hurt. But it didn't hurt. It felt great. Like the last previous long runs I've been doing, after each run, I'm like, man, fuck. 10 more miles to go on the marathon. How am I gonna make it? This fucking run though, I'm like, bring on 26.2, man. Hell fucking yeah. Talk about confidence booster. My coach, shout out to Casey, was like, hey, coming to the run, be very, very, very nervous. Carb up, treat it like race day, and that's exactly what I did. Stretch a fuck ton, hydrate, and showed up nervous. I told Max, I took a nervous shit this morning. I'm like, man, 18 miles, man. This is the most I ever ran. So if I check, if I stop my watch right now, and I'm gonna show you, because it's gonna tell me, this is a record. No shit, it's a, it is, it is a record. This is the longest mile I ever ran in my fucking life. So it's a fucking record. Uh, saving, saving. 
one year record. I'm like, oh really? Tell me more. 18 mile, longest mile, longest fucking mile. Why am I running? Why is the bodybuilder world champion running? I'm running because it's uncomfortable. Lifting weight, picking up every shit and putting it down is fun for me. I can do that shit all day. You don't have to force me. You don't have to force my hand. You don't have to like, bro, Sam, come on, man. Let's just, you know, please come lift. No, no, no. I, you have to force me to get out of the gym. Running, I stare at my fucking shoes for like at least, I told Max this morning I would pick you up at 5.30. I picked them up at 6.30. Because again, I'm like, man, 18 miles. The contemplation, all that shit, all that uncomfortableness gets into you. And you're like, bro, how the fuck am I supposed to do this? But what, what happens is you have a conversation with yourself. The only way forward is literally one step at a time. And that's exactly how I'm gonna treat it. One step at a time, show up, enjoy the, the fuckery, the hurt. Uh, running challenges me in a way bodybuilding doesn't. To be honest with you, contest prep, getting ready for a show is not challenging to me. I've done it so many times. It's almost like it's a repetitive act. I know what to expect. Running, I don't know what to expect. 18 miles is new for me. So I want to challenge myself because that is where, at the end of being uncomfortable, that is where growth is. I just don't want to come in. I don't, I don't, want, to be, I don't want to be just comfortable. So this week, uh, one of my family friends uh, found out he's got a brain tumor, um, like stage four. Like the doctor said they cannot fucking, um, they cannot operate on it. They essentially just give him like a death sentence. Like, hey, the next 10 months, you know, <sighs> like, hey, I mean, how do, you, how, do you, how, do you, how do you process that? And one thing I just kept thinking like, at the end of your life, what is that one thing that you will regret? Like, man, fuck. I know it's very hard to comprehend that you go because you think you're gonna live forever. Leaving your house and going out for a quick short drive is not guaranteed. I know for a fact because last December, I got into a car wreck. Unfortunately, somebody died in that car wreck. My family was safe. Um, my, my wife had a fractured foot. So li literally it was 15 minutes away just to go take some Christmas uh, family picture coming back in a fucking wreck. The person died, we were safe, not our fault. But my point is, I know what it feels like to leave your fucking house and to not almost make it. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of people are not gonna, not, gonna not gonna have that experience, but trust me, it can definitely happen. You can be the safest driver always. We were a safe driver, we're going this way, and that person came from the other side of the road and, and, and hit us. So it's, regardless of what your, what your action is, what you can control, you cannot control what other people do. So if, you, if you're living your life thinking, oh yeah, everything is guaranteed, it's not. So knowing that, challenges me to, to the point where I'm like, bro, like, why, why do I want to just go through life by just being mediocre, by just bodybuilding, by just, I want to challenge myself, so do something that I'm not used to doing, do something that will, that will make me uncomfortable, that will like truly, truly allow me to have a conversation with myself. And that's one of the reasons why I took the AirPods out while listening to the podcast. I'm like, you know what? This, is, this shit is going to hurt, but I want to feel it. I want to be present for the whole fucking thing. So I took the AirPods off. I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to live in that. So that, the reason why I run, number one, is to challenge myself. And the sub part to that is the feeling of running, the community of runners, it's fucking incredible. Running this by Forest Park in St. Louis Loop, you see the same face, faces over and over again, like fist bump. Two, I mean, two pounds, like, I see you. You recognize that you both are going after it. Groups of people running, groups of people challenging themselves, uh, sh different shapes, different sizes, different running forms, man. You were like, how are you making it? Everybody just like, you know, in their own sort of bubble, just like, challenging themselves, you know, having a conversation and just improving themselves. That's one of the things I love about running. So no, I'm not saying everybody should go outside and go running, but I'm challenging you to do something that's very, very uncomfortable for you to do. Step outside your comfort zone. Your life is not guaranteed you don't want your life to end one day and wake up and like well not wake up if you're dead you're not gonna wake up <laughs> like man I have a bunch of regrets I wish I could have done that that is the worst that is that that is the worst regret anybody can have in their fucking lifetime at the end when you get to fucking get heaven and St. Peter's like bro what have you done with your life like uh, I don't know like bro your body is capable of so much so much that you refuse to tap into so tap into that shit man do uncomfortable shit and also one thing that kept me going today is shout out to the homie Adam Clink. Adam Clink is running at the Leadville 100 today and I keep thinking to myself 18 fucking miles man this man is running a hundred fucking miles at 13,000 elevation and I'm running 18 miles on a fucking gloomy nice you know breezy fucking forest park <laughs> run I have no reason not to get after it so I got after it today. Enough ranting. I feel good. I'm going to bask in this shit for the rest of the fucking week. And I hope you do too. That's all I got for you. Sam Wakanoff, Sam Wakanoff Fit. Thank you for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. 
give this video a thumbs up, share with your friend, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Honestly, I don't know who the fuck to trust. This is my friend or my fault. I'm a ex-drug, yeah.